Okay, I guess that's good. Right, what's up everybody? It's February 27th today. It's been, I guess a week. I spilled coffee all over this the other day. It's been a week since I worked this piece down in the third part of this series. Um, I'm at 497 subscribers right now. So, yeah, I'm gonna continue this. I've got about 20 minutes before I need to go somewhere and I don't really have time to do any of the other things I need to do. So I wanna try and use this as a platform and take some flakes off this way before turning this edge and then coming, you know, with a series of flakes down this way. So, It's a pretty strong platform. Maybe this will still work. Try and keep everything in frame. And not drop all my tools everywhere. Okay. built this platform so steep that my punch won't even stay on it. Maybe I should just, um, yeah, let's do it this way. Worked pretty well for the last flake I took over there. This is a steep platform, so I'm just gonna hold this at a really low angle. Not terrible. I thought I wasn't supposed to drop everything everywhere. Okay, now I think I can follow that ridge and hopefully take out this thumbnail from the other side. Missed that swing, great. Yeah, that's not. <laughs> Okay, probably should have, you know, warmed up a little bit before doing this. Figuratively and literally. It's pretty cold out today. I got the fan running, but my fingers are a little, a little chilly. Okay, let's try that again. Not ruin everything this time. better. So that got rid of a lot of the problem. Got rid of that thumbnail on this side and I'll, you know it started fixing that little hinge. It also came up 
this high spot there and took it took out some of that so that made up for a little bit of you know those couple missed strikes that I made This isn't really a great platform to come up this way. These little steps are going to absorb some of that energy. So, I don't know, maybe I can risk it or I should probably do this. Yeah, so that just got rid of those little steps there, or some of them anyways. I think now I can make a better platform. probably use direct for this one there's you know I can hopefully fan out this flake a bit and take out a wide thin one and try and even out some of that then turn the edge Okay, that worked out pretty good. Pretty big platform I took out of that. You know, it did what I wanted it to. You know, it started wide and fanned out even farther. And it got rid of pretty much all of that bad little step in there. There's a small amount that I can probably just pick out with a, you know, I guess my fingernails are doing the job, but anyways. Um, I can probably take a couple more kind of smoothing or blending flakes to balance out this face a little better before turning that edge. turning the rest of it anyways, you know, I'm turning it as I go, or starting to turn it as I move that way. put all these new facets on it still getting used to you know, which part of it to use it's always different based on the situation oops
That wasn't smart. There's another, you know, big kind of lipped, lipped flake. I guess I never ended up dressing up this edge after taking that big flake at the end of the last video. Maybe I can take one down this way first. Did more or less what I wanted it to there. So you can see that this is the thickest part now, the center and back part here. So, I mean, I probably should start at the base and work my way this way, taking flakes like that, but this isn't really set up properly. I've got this weird step here 
that I want to take care of from this direction first and then I can take flakes here. So I've set this platform up. I'm going to try and take a kind of larger flake here without splitting this thing in half. That's always the danger of thinning out the, the middle before you thin out the ends. But in this situation, I think I can get away with it. Famous last words. Okay. Nice thin kind of blending flake that followed the ridge of the previous one. I can take a smaller one here later on, but first I'm going to keep going this way. I'm going to need to rebuild the platform. Actually, I should probably kind of move down to preparing my platforms with pressure, pressure flaking. It's getting down to a stage where I need to be more precise. I can't be wasting edge by you know, using my little hammer stone, which is a little bit more, uh, you know, a little less precise than the pressure flaker, which I haven't really used much of in a long time. I haven't finished any points, done any notching or pressure flaking, so I'm going to have to find that, probably sharpen it up, reshaping it. It's getting pretty small. I need to make a new pressure flaker, definitely. I just use small antler tines, and it's been getting pretty pretty hard on the wrist and I don't want to you know do any damage so yeah part five will be moving down to the pressure flaking stage still thinning out this piece but I think it's starting to look better and yeah just a recap from the last one this piece is going to be a giveaway prize to one lucky viewer of these videos to celebrate 500 subscribers for this channel. I'm at 497 right now, so I'm just three away. What you gotta do to join the contest, the giveaway for this, is just be a subscriber to the channel like one of the videos in this series and leave a comment on one of the videos in this series if you do all three of those things you'll be entered into a draw which i'll do on a later video after i finish this thing which will hopefully you know be sometime next week or the week after depending on how much time i get all right that's it for now catch you next time Cheers.